Hello everybody, my name is Inez. Welcome to this video. This video is really important and I pray that you have ears to hear. And also, because this is such a strong word, if I perish, I perish, as Esther said. But I'm going to speak the truth because it has to be told. Because of what's happening in the body of Christ at this time, I also want to speak to you about the deception in the church what's happening, what's being said in Jesus' name. So let's get to it. So I want to speak to you about, I don't know how you say it, Italia or Ataliah, Jezebel's daughter. Now, if you've read about Jezebel, you should know about Ataliah. Atalia, I'll just say, okay? So I'm pretty sure you're all aware of Jezebel. And we know who Jezebel was, what she did and what her end was. But Jezebel is not just a woman who wears makeup. It's a spirit. It's a principality. And it can work through men and it can work through women. It's dominating. It's controlling. It hates the true anointing of God. It hates the truth. It hates the real prophets. It doesn't know. It's a copycat. OK, so it's very manipulative as well. And it's a murderous spirit. This is Jezebel. But when then we have Atalia. She was the daughter of Jezebel. So she was kind of like her in her ways. It's, it was a generational thing. But what happened was. Is Atalia, you read that for yourself in Second Chronicles 22, 24. But I'm going to give you a quick lowdown. This is just a quick video of what's happening today and what's going to happen. So what's happening today is that spirit of Jezebel is also in the church. There are people who are twisting things. There are people who have lion spirits who are covering things up and lying to people in the body of Christ. But I'm also gonna be talking about a different gospel that's out there today. It was always there, but it's actually stronger today, a political spirit, and it's a totally different gospel. And I'm going to do a quick lowdown of these things. Just hear me out until the end. So Ataliah was a woman who would go out and get revenge because, you see, her son was killed. And there was others supposed to go to the throne. But she killed her way. She manipulated her way to take the throne. So she was in a place that she shouldn't have been. She put herself there for six years. She killed her own grandchildren. She killed babies. She killed people, her own family, to get what she wanted. This is Jezebel's daughter. So she became a queen. She began to reign. That's in 2 Kings and 2 Chronicles 22, 24. She was a worshipper of Baal. She got rid of the truth. She got rid of all things got to do with God. She didn't want to hear it. Now I'm speaking about the body of Christ at this moment. There's a movement there that's going on that is leading people into deception. That is lying to people. False prophetic words. False Things of God being spoken. God said when God did not say every single week. And it's devastating to see many who are being led astray by this movement. And by leaders who are well respected in the body of Christ. And the spirit of God is grieved at this time. And thousands of people are following this. But this movement believes it's doing the right thing. So it twists the truth, it lies, it manipulates, it speaks, it prophesies like as if it's prophesying, but there's no anointing, there's no truth in it. But many listen. It's religious. It courses people. Jezebel courses people. I've also heard that come from many leaders as well, coursing those who won't believe prophetic words. And telling people that they have no faith. 
telling them that they're demonic and telling them that they're wrong. Okay? So that's what this does. So Ataloya, she opposes the truth and she kills for power. Now I'm talking really in the body of Christ, some leaders, not everybody. And there's no discernment at this time. There should be. And I'm pretty sure that God has sent his true prophets, words of wisdom to certain people. It's devastating because there are shows there as well. Um, in America, which is, it's really devastating to the body of Christ, allowing people to speak, putting people on pedestals who should not be there. And the Bible talks about, they have raised up kings, but not by me. They have raised up princes, but not by me. So there was a lot of jealousy. There's a lot of envy got to do with Jezebel and her daughter, Italia, Atalaya. So there's falsehood, there's corruption, there's bribery, there's cover-ups. It sounds good, but it's not the truth. And in Galatians 1.8, but if we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel to you than what has been preached to you, let them be accursed. You know, it's okay, you know, I do commend and I've done other videos about this of people who have prophesied about Donald Trump. Now, I don't want to get into political things, but this is what this is about today. And they apologised because something didn't come to pass. I'm not here to say that I said a certain thing who was right, who wasn't. But if something doesn't come to pass... That's the way it is. It hasn't happened. And then people are covering things by saying, yeah, but this prophecy didn't come to pass for 100 years later. No. There has been so much deception about Donald Trump in the body of Christ. Still moving today. There's shows about just pure politics today. Leading people astray. Giving people false hope. When it's not true. I want... To ask you this question, who is in the White House now? Who is there? You know, I've prayed for Donald Trump. You probably have as well. He's done great things for the church, but he's not there. And he's not going to be there. And people are being led to believe that he'll be put back in by a miracle and God is going to do something. And there's all these things being said. I've had things sent to me. By people saying, what do you think of this? And I have been so grieved and devastated listening to these things, knowing it's not true. Now back to Italia. If you don't like hearing this, that's okay. Back to Italia. Um, it says that her son, she was a mother. She was his counsellor to do wickedly. In um, Second Chronicles 22, she was his counsellor. She was in the background, just like a vice president. Now, I'm talking about the church, the movement that's going on now, lies that are being told, false hope given to people, which is not true. Donald Trump is not going to be there. You need to understand this and you need to listen. Now I'm going into the real world, into the White House. Over Joe Biden, there is a spirit of death. There is a spirit of sickness. Okay? Now, I'm talking about the spirit of Italia. Just like that says there in that sentence. She was the wicked counsellor in the background. She was the voice speaking things into the background. But you see, the devil is always in plain sight. But you can't see him. And he can use anybody. And he's moving in the church right now, deceiving many people. But also someone in the White House right now. And it's not going to be Donald Trump. And I'm sorry to upset you. I have nothing against that man. I have nothing against the leaders in the body of Christ. I'm telling you the way it is. And I pray that people have ears to hear. So she is the one, this woman, Italia, who was raised up by herself. She was put in a position to reign. 
and she reigned for six years when she wasn't supposed to be there. And in reality, in the White House, you're going to see this. You're not going to see a divine miracle from God putting Donald Trump there. A woman will step up and a woman will speak and a woman will reign. And that's what I have to tell you today. And that is going to happen and you're going to see it. And the wickedness that's already there. You know, we don't fight against people. I've nothing against them people. I've nothing against Donald Trump. I've nothing against any leader person in the body of Christ. My heart goes out to these leaders who are leading people astray. Telling them things that are not true. Telling people that a certain person is going to be there for two terms when they're not. And it's still moving on. People are still going along with it. Things are still being said which are not true. And it's ruining the body of Christ. And if you don't like this message, take it to the Lord. But you're going to see this for yourself. There's so many with that veil of deception over them that they don't even know the truth. They fight me. I said this last spring, I think, and the year before. That Donald Trump will not have a second term. We have to pray for him of course. But it didn't happen and he's not there. Donald Trump is Donald Trump. He'll probably come back another way. Just like Alex Jones did. He'll probably have his own show or channel or website or something like that. He'll be there. But not in the White House. A woman will stand up and a woman will speak. Now just hear that in Jesus' name. In Ephesians 6.12 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities, powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. It's in the background. Now if the body of Christ is like this, it's continuing on. I mean I remember years ago people saying God told me Hillary Clinton and all of these people will be arrested here. They're still there. They have thousands of followers. And today, this movement, it's the same thing. Now they haven't seen Donald Trump being put in there. Now they're saying God is bringing justice and these people will be arrested. Can you see the deception? I mean, all you have to do is look with your eyes. And then that's the other deception where they say, oh, you've no faith, you've no faith. We don't go by this. We go by what God said. It's not happening. You're going to see this with your eyes. And what are you going to say then? So even if there is someone listening to this now and you're still listening to that, you're still stuck on that. Or if you are a pastor or a prophet listening to this. Get time with the Lord. Seek God's face because this needs to stop. There are thousands who are being led astray. Even people who look at my video send the meetings saying, look, look, Donald Trump is going to be in. Look what this prophet said. I think that is not true. It's not true. You're going to see this for yourself. I know it's a harsh word. But it's so strong today in the body of Christ. It's actually, I even cried for a long time. I looked at a few things myself and just couldn't believe it. People saying you're going to celebrate. You're going to eat cake. You're going to do this because God is going to change things. Look who's in the White House now. You need to understand. And what I've just said, you're going to see happen. You're going to see a woman stand up. There's a spirit of sickness of death over Joe Biden's head and pray for him. And there's so much even hatred in the body of Christ calling them names. Yes, we go um, by what God says. There's principalities of evil. There's wickedness. But there's people calling people names. I'm not here to call people names to, to, to melt off ministries or shows or anything like that. I pray for people. Jesus says, pray for those. Pray for your enemies. Pray for those who are deceived. Pray for those who are leading people astray. Because the blind are leading the blind. And there's a stubbornness. There's a hardness there. Where certain people won't listen to the truth. When people are going to them saying, 
you're wrong in what you're saying. This is not right. You're leading people astray. You know, and then I seen another one then where people were coursing the body of Christ because they wouldn't listen to them and saying you're not believing the prophetic words. Now, to me, that's exactly what I have said. That's exactly what I have said in Jesus name. So Atalia, Atalia, she was the first woman on the throne. And in the White House, you will see a woman speak. And that woman will take over. And then what are you going to say? How are you going to twist things then? But I urge you, if you have been following these things for yourself, please ask God to open your eyes. Ask God to show you the truth. And he will. He is going to show you. But this needs to stop. And I'll continue to pray. And if you decide yourself to hate me, to unfollow me, I've already had loads leave already. Even from last year when I said Donald Trump won't do a second term. And that's absolutely fine. You know, when you speak the word of God, if you look and you read the word, Jesus wasn't exactly popular. The prophets weren't exactly popular. They were hated. They were brushed off. They weren't listened to until things actually happened. And people went, oh, it was true. But there's so much of a darkness right now, a mist right now. And it's heartbreaking to see in the body of Christ and in leadership. And that different gospel, that political spirit, it's just all about America. It's all about um, the elections still to this day. It's totally gone off course. But I know that there's a lot of people who love America. Of course, I love America. You love America. You know, there's people raising up new parties, new things. I mean, we need to just take a moment and seek the Lord at this time. And see what way things are going. And what way you're going. What, what you're listening to. And I pray that the Lord ministers to your heart. And if you want to leave. I bless you. I love you. I pray for you. That's absolutely fine. But I'll continue to pray for the body of Christ. But what I've said you're going to see. You're going to see it. So God bless you. And I pray that the Lord opens your eyes to the truth. Your ears to hear of what's actually going on in the world at this time. So God bless you in Jesus name.